You know, one of my favourite stories of the past week has been the Biden administration wanting to sack underperforming Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre, but unable to because she, well, she ticks every diversity box. Can't imagine why they'd want to get rid of her. This is Corinne earlier today. Respectfully, you didn't quite answer it. Uh, the question was, why hasn't the president been more forceful in talking yeah. about the protests? You yeah. talked about how he's talked about anti-Semitism, but specifically on the protests, yeah. why hasn't the president been more forceful no. on that? And I hear the question, Gabe, but respectfully, the president has been one, the no other president has spoken about anti-Semitism than this president. But that's not that's not but, the question. It's the protests. And I'm but I'm answering it in the way that I believe. Uh, is the best way to answer your question. I tell you what he's doing is rewarding them by forgiving their student loans. She really is hopelessly incompetent and inarticulate and her performance only got worse. I'll be looking at that in a minute with Ami Horowitz. Now let's look at what happens when pampered theatre kids grow up and become full-time idiots. This lot put on a play of sorts outside the White House Correspondents' Dinner featuring... IDF soldiers murdering civilians in cold blood. Staying in Washington, D.C., time to check on some climate craziness. Watch as this woman tries to vandalise an artwork at the National Gallery of Art. Thankfully, it had a protective case around it, but she did her best. All they do. Hello, friends. She's a mum from Brooklyn and she's headed to jail for vandalising that Edgar Degas statue. She's been uh, sentenced to 60 days in prison. Enjoy that. Our good mate, the incorrigible Texan himself, Alex Stein, primetime 99 Alex Stein, he took his gaze for Palestine shtick to New York and, you know, no one makes lefties lose it quicker than Alex. Gaze for Palestine. <laughs> Don't throw me off a roof. In Palestine, they often times have to run to Israel. You're not allowed to be openly gay in Palestine. Why are we talking about gay people? Do you think do, they kill do them? You think, how, do, Palestinians do you think they kill, kill them? Do you think gay men get killed in Palestine ever? For being gay? Yes. How, do you have any reports of that? that. Do you true. have any? Show me, show oh me a report. Gosh, okay. Show me a report. This is the moment for action. Is this jokes? No, no, we're live on YouTube. We're trying to get some. Channel? Like you like smiling, huh? No, I'm just trying to cut it. It seems funny to you. It seems funny. Whoa, okay, now everybody's getting mad. No, I hear you. Oh my god! To California now, where riots are breaking out at UCLA as students are forced to protect themselves from the mad mobs taking over the university. If you're wondering why students don't feel safe at UCLA, have a look at how this young man was chased down and forced to submit. But I have some good news for you. This wonderful footage of frat boys from the University of North Carolina standing up to the campus Marxist to protect the American flag. This iconic image of the young men standing tall despite being attacked is, uh, well, I think it's going to be remembered for a long time. And good news, more than $300,000 has now been raised to throw those boys an epic party. Fantastic. There's hope for the kids yet. <laughs> 